Star Wars, Dark Forces, Soldier for the Empire. It is a time of rebellion. Across the galaxy, small bands of freedom fighters have come together to form an alliance to resist the tyranny of the Galactic Empire. On a thousand worlds, the struggle for freedom has begun, dividing star systems, dividing planets, sometimes dividing father and son. On a moon called Sullen, orbiting the planet Sullust, a man called Morgan Katarn feels himself torn apart as the specter of civil war looms across the galaxy. While his son Kyle is receiving his education at the Imperial Academy, Morgan has secretly joined the rebellion in hopes of leading his people toward a more prosperous future. But Morgan Katarn soon learns the bitter truth that the Emperor's minions tolerate no resistance. Jen, above you. Jen, crawl. They're gone, Morgan. Everybody fall back to the G-Tap. The Imperials are all over this place. Fall back. Morgan, what about you? There's something I've got to do first. Candace, is that protocol droid of yours still functioning? Affirmative, sir. You may call me AC. Right. You're with me, AC. The rest of you get back to the caves. But Morgan... Go. Fall back! Oh, you fall back. Fall back! Cannon Let's moving. go, let's go! All right, AC, from everything they told me, you're wired for sound and video. That is correct, sir. I am capable of storing over 1,000 hours of digital media, including holographic projection. But if I may say so, sir, this is hardly the time to begin a documentary. It's the only time I've got. Start recording. Recording on, sir. This is Morgan Katarn, leader of the Rebels on Sullen, the only moon of Sullust. I don't have much time left, but with luck, this protocol droid will escape the battle and spread the images of this blood path to every planet in the galaxy. To make sure everyone knows our story, I'm recording exactly what happened. Nothing that happened this morning hinted at the disaster that's fallen on our heads. The worst thing I thought I'd have to deal with was a broken pump relay on my homestead. Ouija? Hey, Ouija! <laughs> there you are. Ouija, that pump relay on the south ridge is acting up again. I'm going out to fix it. No, I can handle it. I need you to stay around the farmhouse. Plug yourself into that monitor. You're in charge till I get back. Like I said, the morning started out quiet. Except that I ran into that blowhard Scorg Jameson. That should have been my first sign of trouble. <sighs> I just spent a stuck again. <sighs> Gotta get that darn thing fixed before I get to the south ridge. Hey, Katarn! Oh, damn the father. Katarn! Katarn! Skorg Jameson, how goes the campaign for sector leader in this corner of the rebellion? Not so loud, Katarn. Last thing either one of us needs is more Imperial action on Sullen. Speaking of which, how's that son of yours? Still living the high life at the Imperial Military Academy? Learning to be a good little stormtrooper. He's getting an education, Scorg. That's all you have to know. Yeah, so you say. But I don't like the idea that the son of one of our top leaders is an Imperial. You're not gonna bring this up again. I got my son off this rock to make a better place for himself. And the only way greenies from the outer rim like us can move up is through the Academy. Besides, I've told you a thousand times, my son has no knowledge of my ties to the Rebellion. And if he did, he wouldn't turn us in. So you say, Now, if but... you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Neither one of us knew that the Empire was working just as hard. <clears throat> this is Star Destroyer Vengeance to all escort craft. We are entering high orbit. I'll inform the Captain. Should we inform Lord Jarek as well? Negative. Sucking up to that blue-skinned, spitting, polished Captain Thrawn's bad enough. <laughs> no kidding. 
You know, half the reason I signed up for the Imperial Navy is because I heard it was humans only. <laughs> now I end up serving under the only alien captain. Well, at least Thrawn looks human, except for the blue skin and those red eyes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least he has eyes. <laughs> you ever gotten close to Lord Jarek? Uh, Just empty sockets covered by a band of black leather. Doesn't stop him, though. I hear he's one of the Emperor's dark Jedis, hmm. but he keeps it to himself. He's supposed to be blind, but they say he sees everything. Except the galley, I'd say. <laughs> hey, does he ever eat? Looks like a walking skeleton, and he's always dressed in black. You know, between him and Captain Thrawn, they're leaving us black and blue. <laughs> Gentlemen. <coughs> Captain Thrawn, yes, yes sir. sir. Gentlemen, idle chatter does not become officers in His Imperial Majesty's Navy. It is especially unbecoming when those officers leave the comm channel open. Yes. Uh, sorry, sir. Report. Uh, the Vengeance is in high orbit, Captain. All 50 turbo laser batteries are online. Three of five TIE fighter squadrons are prepped, and both Gamma-class assault shuttles are on the deck. And, uh, uh, Captain, if I may say so, sir, I apologize for any unseemly comments you might have overheard. Now, I'm sure in context... Enough, they Commander. Your xenocentric chauvinism is no concern of mine. I care about performance and results, and your record is exemplary. I do not care about your petty bigotry. Understood? Understood, Captain. Oh, but Commander, if I ever find out that your bigotry is affecting your performance, I'll have your carcass ejected with the next garbage load. Understood? Understood, Captain. Thrawn out. That will teach officers to gossip upon the bridge. You handled that well, Captain Thrawn. Thank you, Lord Jarek. I was patronizing you, Captain. Yes, sir. Hmm. You are a most interesting specimen, Captain Thrawn. Sir? A total lack of ego. Pure calculation. You are an excellent tactician. It's no wonder you've risen so quickly. I predict you'll go far in the Emperor's Navy. Yes, sir. Although confidentially, I... I believe your talents are wasted on the Emperor. Were another on the throne, I think you might receive even greater rewards. The Emperor is who he is. But forever? Palpatine is not the only man in the galaxy who can command the Force. But he is the only one who commands those who command it. For instance, he commands you, Lord Jerry. Mind your place, you blue-skinned fool. With the force, I could crush you where... <laughs> ah. Well done, Captain. Well done. It's not an easy task to make me lose my composure. You are indeed a formidable tactician. Yes, sir. I trust the probe has returned from the moon of Sallust? Yes, sir. There was no sign of a security breach. Surprise will be complete. The rebels won't know what hit them. The dropship is ready? Yes, Lord Jarek. The rebel insignias have been fixed to the ship's hull. Excellent. You may begin your attack on Sullen. Yes, sir. One more thing, Captain. Sir? I want Morgan Catan. Alive. I was on the south ridge of my farm when the first wave hit. At first, I thought it was just some dumb pilot so blind he couldn't see the spaceport. But then I saw the way the ship was flying, coming in low, accelerating all the way, like it was reaching attack velocity. The farm two kilometers from mine went up in a flash. Be sure, but I think there were children inside. At first, I thought it was pirates. The ship looked like a junk heap, but for a junk heap, it flew pretty well. I've never seen pirates shoot like those murderers. I managed to get out my electro binoculars. I recorded some of the action, and I've included it in the protocol droids' memory banks. I can't say it brings me much happiness, because the next thing I saw was a ship dust down in my front yard, and a squad of thugs pour out. They all wore rebel insignias, but check the tape. You'll see they aren't rebels. Every one of them was human, and every one of them carried the same state-of-the-art weapons. And wherever that well-equipped, this war will take a turn for the better, in my opinion. 
Anyway, they tore through the place, cut my droid Ouija in half, but they didn't blast it. They weren't just a wipeout team. They were searching for rebels. For me. You bring bad news, Captain Thrawn. Yes, Lord Jarek. Continue. The raid was successful. Eleven homesteads were destroyed, and fifteen colonists are confirmed dead. Mm -hmm. At least thirty-two witnesses saw a rebel-disguised ship. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the commandos were unable to find Morgan Katarn. Was he warned? There's no evidence to support that theory, sir. I suspect the target simply left the farm on some sort of errand. Or felt the need to go elsewhere. He feels the force, that one. But he lacks the courage to reach out and take what is his. What if I abuse the power, he thinks? What if I make a mistake? Fool. I can sense his presence from orbit. If you say so, Lord Jarek. <laughs> oh, I know the Force holds little interest for you, Captain Thrawn. Sir? You are a creature of the physical world. A doer of deeds. Well, Captain, I will provide your men with deeds to do. Listen closely. Listen! I said listen! Listen, everyone! Quiet down! We've all heard what happened a few hours ago. The Imperial attack was cold-blooded murder, but we can't lose our heads! So you say, but we've already lost our homes. I say it's time to fight back! It's time to stand up and show other sectors in the Rebellion what we can do! Wait a minute! I know how you feel, Skork. I lost my farm, too. And I'm just as tired of the pressure, extortion, and attacks. That's why it's tempting to look for an opportunity to strike back. Why not? At, at what cost? Blast the cost! That's what I said! You've heard the information that's come our way. Hey, what's I know, I know. Imperials disguised as rebels are planning to attack the geothermal tap that our colony uses to produce power. And I once see. the G-tap is gone, we'll be forced to buy a fusion plant from the Empire and pay taxes into the Emperor's pocket! Like that, are we gonna let that happen? No! Oh, wait a minute, no, wait a minute! No, what if destroying the G-tap isn't the Empire's real objective? What, do you mean? What's he saying? what if they're trying to lure us into a pitched battle? To eliminate the rebel infrastructure on Sullen. What are you saying? Guerrilla raids are one thing, but our forces aren't trained or equipped to fight special operations commandos. If we lose, we lose more than the GTAP. We lose Sullen herself. The argument went back and forth for four long hours, but finally Skorg Jameson's side won out. The rebels voted for war, and that's exactly what we got. They came at us with AT-ATs and assault ships. Just like before, they were disguised as rebels. But that's a lie. They're trained Imperials, and we didn't stand a chance. We lost two squads in the first 30 seconds of the fight, and we've been falling back ever since. Most of my unit... Most of my unit is gone. There's a rebel. Take him alive. I'm almost out of time. I only hope this recording gets into the right hands. The rebellion must continue. Stop recording. Recording, stop. Set blasters on stun. You there, halt! AC, get out of here. I'll hold him off. Affirmative, sir. Freeze, you rebel scum. Put your hands where I can see him. Can you see this? <laughs> oh. 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 You'll pay for your defiance, rebel scum. Inform Lord Jarek we have the man he's after. Oh. Citizen Katarn. <laughs> How nice to see you. I am Lord Jarek. Uh, how you doing? I'm doing very well, Citizen Katar. Uh, very well indeed. You, on the other hand, are suffering from mild radiation uh, sickness from a severe stun bolt. Not to mention two broken ribs, uh, the result of a few kicks from my rather eager subordinates, uh, and a significant amount of internal bleeding. You got good eyes for a blind man. I see quite well, Citizen Katarn. I see right into your heart, into your fear. And I know you feel the Force. What? Oh, you cannot hide it from me, Morgan Katarn. The awareness is within you. Small, as yet unpowerful, but the Force is with you. 
For that alone, I should kill you. Instead, I give you a choice. So tell me, which would you prefer? A brief conversation? To the point? Or something long, slow, and very, very painful? <laughs> How disappointing. I expected more from a rebel leader of your reputation. A snappy reply, a rebel slogan, perhaps even a heroic silence. I obviously overestimated you. Now be smart, Citizen Catan. Use your head. Tell me, who do you take orders from and where can I find them? A Gamorian princess delivers my orders every morning. She lives under my barn. You'd like it there. Well, well, you are the hero after all. Very well. If you will not use your head, Catan, then I will... Thrawn, come forward. Yes, sir. Many years ago, I had the somewhat dubious pleasure of passing through Sullen Spaceport. A plain, rather Spartan facility, as I recall. Has it changed? No, sir. Excellent. That being the case, I would like to add a little color to the lace. Sir? Install this head where all may see and take inspiration from it. In the meantime, I want the following message sent to Emperor Palpatine. Sullen has been pacified. Your obedient servant, Jarek. I'll send the message immediately, sir. The Elder Catan proved a waste of my time. But as I recall, he had a son. Now, what was the boy's name? Kyle! Hey, Kyle! Shh! Odom! I'm over here! Kyle, it's bad enough you insisted on meeting me in the Academy Library, but why are you hiding in the cooking section? Because no one ever comes here. Have a seat. All right, Kyle. What's this all about? Well, I've got something I need to get off my chest, Odom. A couple of things, actually. And you're my roommate, the only guy I can really trust in the whole Academy. I'm all ears. Okay. As you know, we all just went through our senior missions as cadet leaders. Yeah, and I hear you got great marks for yours. But it didn't exactly go the way they say it did. Listen. I, I was getting ready for my first real command, the Omega mission. As you know, it's a senior cadet's first time leading real soldiers into real combat. It's also his last chance to show whether or not he's worth the thousands of credits the Empire poured into his training. I guess now I know the answer. We are three minutes, repeat three to dirt. Check life support, prepare for insertion. I copy that. All stormtrooper squad, systems check, top down. This is Cadet Leader Kyle Katarn, all green. Sergeant Major Hong, all green. Your platoon is ready, Cadet Leader. Affirmative, Sergeant Major. Rankers chewing up your insides yet? I beg your pardon? <laughs> Don't mean nothing by it, sir. Just you cadets coming out of the academy usually get so nervous it's like you got rankers in your ribcage. The sergeant major was right, but those tough old gundarks will step all over a rookie officer if you show fear, and I wasn't going to give him the satisfaction. Whatever I'm feeling's none of your business, sergeant major. Yes, sir, cadet leader, sir. But trust me, kid. Just stick to your academy training and we'll all come out of this just fine. Thanks, Sergeant Major. Uh, uh listen. Is it true what they say? Hmm? I mean, when they send seniors like me out on their first command assignments to see if we can handle it. Are most of these missions walkovers? Ain't no walkovers where the rebels are concerned, Cadet Leader. I don't care what they say on the Hollow News. Ask any grunt who's gone up against the Rebs. They're always outgunned, but they still put up a fight. Only good rebels are dead ones. And you're gonna get your chance at making plenty of dead ones. Let's run down the mission one more time. Yes, sir. We touch down on an asteroid in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. No atmosphere, there's gravity, but it's low. The recon droids say there's a small rebel base buried in the asteroid's surface. Right. Intelligence thinks the rebels are trying to set up a relay station to transmit illegal broadcasts to the nearby systems. We're here to break in and wreck the place. Knock and shock, yes, sir. Atmospheric decompression underway, 30 to dirt. Uh, copy that. All squads, 30 to dirt. Lock and load. You load your blaster like a vet. You're gonna do all right, Cadet Leader Kyle Katar. We're down. Doors open. Go, Sergeant Major, go! Sergeant Major Hong got the platoon out by the numbers. In seconds, we were standing on the surface of the most lifeless rock in space. 
Some of the Empire's computer freaks could probably tell me why the Rebels had picked this asteroid, but I couldn't care. All I wanted was to get off that rock with my life and my command intact. Okay, Sergeant Major. We got six buildings on the surface. A comm dish and a landing pad. I marked the airlock gate to the underground part of the complex at .5 clicks. Copy that, sir. Half a kilometer. Only one problem here, sir. No rebels. They should be pouring fire on us by now. So where are they? Send the scouts. Tell them to stay sharp. This place is too darn quiet. Affirmative, sir. Smart move. Okay, Dobbs, Trang, Sutu. Take a look. Somebody built that comm dish. Find them. The scouts went out on their bellies, low crawling across the dusty surface of the rock. Thanks to the low gravity, every speck of dust they kicked up hung in the air like a target. Easy meat for any snipers around. If anyone's around. No one was. I ordered the platoon to double time it to the airlock doors. Everything's ready, cadet leader. Charges are set. Blow the airlock. All right, boys. Let's knock on the door. Go, go, go! Let's Everybody's go, go. Move, Come it, on, move, move it! Move it! Move it! There's no one here. Yeah, I don't like it, cadet leader. It's too quiet. So either this base is abandoned or else they're all over. Ambush! Everyone down! Return fire! They're everywhere! Hold it together, Morley! Maintain fire! Sergeant Major, what's your evaluation? We got 30, maybe 40 rebels ahead of us, sir. Mostly blasters, but some pre-imperial weaponry, vibro axes, stuff like that. I told you these rebs can fight. One of them's charging! Imperial Stay man. back! Watch it, sir! <laughs> Nice shot, cadet leader. Oh, I just killed that woman. Sir, they're falling back. I just killed another being. Sir, they're retreating. Request permission to advance, sir. Huh? Oh, uh, affirmative, Sergeant Major. All right, move out. Make a eight laser. Fall back! Fall back! Medic to the front. Yes, sir. Cadet leader, are you okay? I'm fine. Check out that woman. The rebel? Check her out. Is she... Dead? Yes, sir. Nice clean shot, too. Burned a hole right through. That'll be all, medic. Cadet leader. Sergeant Hong, report. We've secured the chamber just inside the airlock, sir, but we paid for it. The platoon has suffered 30% casualties. Rebels have fallen back to another chamber beyond this one. How about the wounded rebels, sir? Give them aid or put them out of their misery. Put them out of their misery. Why waste effort on this rebel Negative. scum? Negative. Our people come first, the rebels after that. Military intelligence will want to interrogate the prisoners. Yes, sir. So, Sergeant Major, our instructors taught us that when things go bad and we need advice, we should ask for it. What do you think? Should we pull out or press ahead? I say we call for reinforcements, then press ahead. Revs have got to be hurting, and I'd hate to use up even more lives breaking in all over again. Copy that. C1 to R1, over. R1 here, go. Over. I need a sit rep. Any activity out there, over? The Rebels sent some coded comm traffic, C1. I've got a feeling they have backup on the way. Over. Stupid cadet. He forgot this was a communications station. Grease the antenna, R1, and tell the command ship to send some reinforcements. We took 30% casualties getting into this place, and there's no end in sight. Acknowledge. Over. Burn the link and call for backup. Got it. Hang in there, C1. Out. All right, Sergeant Major. Enough goofing off. Move them out. Okay, people, you heard the cadet leader. Let's finish where we started. First squad first, third squad second, second squad hold. Sergeant Major Hong was like a machine getting those men into gear. I got the feeling none of them wanted to keep up the attack with the rebels fighting so fiercely. But you couldn't be sure. That's the best part about those stormtrooper uniforms. They don't stop blaster bolts the way they're supposed to, but at least they hide the fear and fatigue on your face. Rebels retreated down a tunnel beyond this chamber. Scouts report no sign of them there now, but they ambushed us once. And they'll do it again. But we don't have much choice, do we, Sergeant Major? Welcome to the real war, Cadet Leader. How far you say we've come? Odometer reads one kilometer. This is one long tunnel. You sure you want the men using the air supplies in their armor, sir? Readings show this tunnel is pressurized. That's affirmative, Sergeant Major. I want everyone on life support. Don't ask why, just call it a hunch. Hey, what? Hey, what? Hey, what? Everyone oh, down! Oh. <sighs> everyone all right? Uh, there's so much dust kicked up, I can't see a thing. Squad leader, sound off! Oh. Squad one, all accounted. Squad two, here. Squad three, all here. I like your hunches, cadet leader. If we weren't on life support, we'd all be choking on dust right now. What's even luckier, if that cave-in was meant as a booby trap, it went off too late. All our men were past it when it fell. And that's when I got another one of those hunches. I haven't told anybody this. I probably never will. 
I'd be drummed out of the Empire or kicked over to the psych labs for research or both. But I swear by all the stars that this is the truth. Right when Hong started talking, something flashed through my mind. I saw into the future. I saw that corridor filled with rebel blaster fire. <sighs> it wasn't meant to fall on us. What? It was supposed to fall behind us. It's a trap. Hit the dirt. Let's go forward. <laughs> Down. <laughs> The rebels are firing through the holes in the walls. How do you know they mean? Never mind. There's an old crawler ahead of us. Make for that. Use it for cover. Prepare to engage. Grenade! Not a good place to be. We took out a few more rebels, but by the time we reached the far end of the tunnel, it was sealed up tight by a durasteel door. We couldn't go back. The cave-in blocked our escape. And if we went forward, no one knew what was waiting behind that door. R1, come in, R1, over. Oh, no answer. Could be the thickness of the rack interfering with the signal. Or the rebel reinforcements drove the assault ship off or anything. Doesn't matter. There's only one way to go now, and it's through this door. Yes, sir. They're going to be waiting for us, sir. Affirmative. Set the charges. Charges set. Blow the thing to Dantooine, Sergeant Major, and let's take them out. We blew the door and jumped through the hole. I think every stormtrooper in my squad expected to be cut down by rebel fire. But instead... We came up against the last thing we expected. Surrender! Surrender! Uh, they're surrendering. Uh, we've taken the base. Uh, Sergeant Major, search the prisoners for hidden weapons. Craig, that open fire. Surrender! Uh, that's enough. Hold your fire. Hold your fire. Sir, I count 15 rebels surrendering here. There are only seven of us left. We're outnumbered. Standard operating procedure says execute all prisoners. I know what the book says. I say no. What else do you say, sir? I say. That's when the next thing happened that I still haven't told anyone. The thing that would probably get me court-martialed if anyone knew. Sergeant Major, that rebel over there, the woman, do you recognize her? Recognize her, sir? I mean, from any of the pre-mission tapes, maybe in a hollow video, is she someone we're after? She looks familiar somehow. She's just another rebel to me, sir. Never saw her before. Bring her over here. All right, Rebel, snap to it. Cadet leader wants to see you. Move it! Keep your filthy hands off me. You're lucky the cadet leader's a gentleman, sweetheart. You know what'd happen if I were in charge. But you're not, Sergeant Major. You there, who are you? Someone who hates your guts. Her words were angry, but there was something else. Something in her eyes. Something peaceful. Something that made a connection with me. I tried to find an excuse to keep talking. This room looks like the communication center, is it? Great instincts, hotshot. What tipped you off? All the monitors and video screens? Sergeant Major, activate one of those monitors. Let's see if we can contact the assault ship. Monitors on. I read two ships approaching fast. Those aren't ours. Uh, the rebel reinforcements. That's it, sir. Let's grease the rebs and blast our way out of here. Negative on greasing the rebs, Sergeant Major. There's been enough killing today. An Imperial soldier saying that? With all due respect, sir, the rebels wasted two-thirds of your command, and we'll kill even more of our troops if you let them go. The answer is no. Download any information from the base computer net, then let's find a place to hole up until our own troops arrive. Yes, sir. Under protest, sir. Jonesy, pull the memory mods from the transmitters. Haku, set some charges. We don't have much time here. Take cover! They're here! Rebel reinforcements! Sergeant, all the squads return fire! Kyle, I can't believe that story. I, I thought I was dead. Odom, I deserve to be dead. Don't be ridiculous. It's true, Odom. I risked the lives of everyone in my command. But instead, I get rescued by our reinforcements, and, and now I'm practically a hero. Mm. Even the Commandant of the Academy, General Mock, went on record as saying so. The official report says I went above and beyond the call of duty. I know different. And, and that girl, who was she? How did she get under my skin like that? Kyle, if a pretty girl's your biggest problem, you've got nothing to worry about. But what about that feeling I got, Odom? I, I, I can't explain it. I just knew there was an ambush. Listen, I, I know you're a pretty religious guy, Odom. Now, that's none of your business, Kyle, even if you are my roommate. I know. I know the Empire cast a cold eye on religion. Yeah, and I'd probably lose my ranking if the Empire ever found out I'd studied with the Bamar monks. So keep it down, will you? Your secret's safe with me. I, I just need some advice about something Dad always talks about. A kind of power they used to say existed in the galaxy. Does your religion say anything about the Force? The Force? Well, not much. They just always Rimmer! used to... Hey! Rimmer! Mm, I 
know that voice. No, me too. I'm slipping out the back, Kyle. Oh. I'll see you at the mess. Oh. There you are, Rimmer. I thought I saw you come into the library, doing a little last-minute research, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's too late to start learning your officer's code of conduct now. What do you want, Nathan? Oh, you're too good to talk to me now that you're a hero? Uh, don't call me a hero, Nathan. And don't call me a rimmer, either. Yeah. Just because I come from the outer rim doesn't mean you boys from the core system. Yeah, 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 whatever. Listen, how's the noggin? It's really good to see you up and around again. Thanks. My head still feels like the entire Imperial Navy's using it for target practice, but otherwise... Hey, you guys to the mess hall? Uh, yeah, I great, guess. Great, great, great. Let's eat. I am starving. Oh, what's this about you in the mess hall, Nathan? I thought you core world boys had your meals flown in by mommy and daddy. Well, normally I wouldn't dine with the peasants, but my esteemed father, who happens to be Governor, Governor Dal Donar II the... of Dara IV, I know, I know. As I said, my esteemed father and mother are jumping in from Dara IV for the graduation ceremony, so I'm afraid I'm on my own until this afternoon. Which means, it's your lucky day, Rimmer. I think my headache's getting worse. <laughs> you know you're the talk of the Academy. Mm. I've heard about 15 different versions of the story, but everyone's got the same basic line. Cadet leader Kyle Katarn, on his mm. first mission, encountered unexpectedly heavy opposition. Rather than turn back like any average soldier would, Katarn fought his way <laughs> through the corridors of a major rebel installation, uh. killing no less than 436 uh. insurrectionists and disabling an important communication station. Uh, would you just lay off? As the rebels closed uh. in on the beleaguered Imperial heroes with several <laughs> rebel gunboats en route, Cadet leader Katarn summoned reinforcements. One uh. of the rebel ships escaped, but the other was destroyed by Katarn's second wave, uh. heavily armed. Armed commando swept through the base, finding Katarn and the surviving six members of his command wounded and barricaded deep in the heart of the rebel fortress. The surveillance equipment you installed around the academy has proved quite useful, General Mock. Thank you, Lord Jarek. But I confess it was really meant as a deterrent against unruly cadets. I never intended to spy on individual trainees like this. I have my reasons, General. This young man, Kyle Katarn... I have a rather unique interest in him. May I ask what that is? I mean, considering that Kyle is one of my students. Indeed. I had a brief but meaningful acquaintance with his father. His life was wasted. Perhaps the boy will be different. I'd like to meet him. It shall be as you say. So then, the reinforcements arrive. Special Ops Commandos blasting their way into the rebel base where they find this barricade set up by our troops. One of the commandos jumps into a pile of bodies, pokes his head over the barricade, and sees the last few stormtroopers huddled back there. Where's your cadet leader? The Special Ops guy asks. And the trooper answers, You're standing on him. <laughs> uh, th <laughs> Thanks, Nathan. I feel much better now. <laughs> Don't take it bad. Remember, it's just the story is so much better when I tell it. <laughs> hey, he's right, Kyle. Uh, thanks a lot, Odom. You're my roommate. You're supposed to be on my side. Oh, uh, what can I tell you? Four years of living with your bad jokes, it's good to hear a funny story once in a while. Oh, hey, 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 speaking of stories, how much did you exaggerate the story to your father? Yeah. Now, what, what did he say when he heard you were a real-life hero? Yeah, let's hear uh, this. I, I, I haven't told him yet. <laughs> haven't what? told him? Uh, oh, man, the first thing I did after my senior mission was get my old man on the comm net and brag till I was blue in the face. <laughs> yeah, and all you did was roust a bunch of Minox out of an abandoned warehouse. <laughs> I'll tell him. It's, it's just that my father doesn't go in much for war stories. Not even stories about blasting rebels? Well, what is he, a rebel sympathizer? No. In fact, he even wanted me to come to the academy. It's just that he wanted me to get an education, not to become a warrior. Oh. He just values life, that's all. Doesn't like to see anyone get killed. All senior cadets report to the parade grounds. Graduation ceremonies begin in one hour. This is it, boys! Freedom is zero minus 60 minutes and counting! <laughs> Cadets of the Imperial Training Academy, this is your hour. This is your moment. But you should not think of it as your moment simply to bask in the glory of your recent achievements. This is your hour to prove yourself. The Emperor spent more than a half million credits to feed, house, and educate each one of you over the past four years. Not because he thought it would be the nice thing to do, or because he likes military parades, but to defend the Empire. 
an empire that is being attacked from within. And that's your job, to find the rot, cut it out, and restore order. She wasn't rot. That girl, I, I don't know what she was, but it wasn't evil. It couldn't be evil. Shh, quiet, Kyle, or you'll get us in trouble. The consistency that flows from a single well-conceived plan. The best plan, the right plan, the Emperor's plan. Thank you, and congratulations on your accomplishments. And now for the awarding of special medals of valor and merit. Will the following cadets please step forward? Rand Nalik. Well, this is it, Kyle. Countdown zero minus two or three minutes, and we are officially officers in the Emperor's Navy. Dana Corey. And I can't wait. Standing out in the sun in our dress uniforms, it's hotter than Nicklon. Yeah, I'm sweating right through my shirt. Chad hey, Mech, who's that guy standing next to General Mock? What, who, the, the, the blind guy there? All dressed in black with that strip of cloth across his eyes? That's him. Boy, I don't know, but from the looks of it, I'd have Kyle to say... Qatar. Hey, that's you! What? You're getting a medal! Go on, get up there! Oh, well, what's this all about? I, I don't deserve this. I, I mean, I guess I should be happy, but... Oh, that man up there with the general he makes my blood run cold. In recognition for his valor and bravery in the face of the enemy, the Emperor hereby presents Second Lieutenant Kyle Katarn with the Medal of Valor as well as the Empire's heartfelt gratitude. Well done, Lieutenant. Uh, th thank you, sir. I, too, wish to offer my congratulations, Lieutenant Katarn. Uh, uh, thank you, um, sir. Jarek. Lord Jarek. Thank you, Lord Jarek. You have accomplished a great deal for one so young. Recognition is sweet, is it not? However, remember that recognition is a gift given by those who have power to those who do not. This is but the first step, my young friend. Climb the ladder swiftly. Join those who possess power and claim what is yours. I will be waiting. In the meantime, wear this medal as a reminder of our meeting. What's happening to me? Jarek touched me and it's, it's like energy is surging through me. Not from him, but from inside me. I suddenly feel everything, like I'm in touch with everything. Oh, I can hear my own heartbeat, the ticking of someone's watch. A woman laughing, B but not in here. She's laughing a kilometer away. I feel like I'm connected to everything. There's a candy wrapper blowing across the plaza. General Locke is hoping the ceremony will end soon. He wants to get back to his mistress. How do I know that? Kyle. Kyle. What's that voice? Kyle. Kyle? Kyle Katan? Uh, uh, yes? You may step down now. Oh, yes, uh, of course. And Thank now, you, sir. It is my honor to welcome into the Emperor's elite the latest class of Imperial officers. Hey, Kyle, you okay? Oh, I think so. I, I don't know. Something, something weird happened up there. I, I can't explain it. Yeah, you zoned out, and you missed the best part of the whole celebration. What's that? That blowhard Nathan Donar just passed out from the heat. <laughs> so much for the official ceremonies, Kyle. Time to go blope face, <laughs> assuming you're willing to consort with peasants, what with your medal and all. Meg, please. Hey, who was that guy in black, anyway? A snappy dresser he ain't. Beats me. Called himself Jarek, for whatever that's worth. Some kind of government official, I think. Well, whatever. Listen, my parents invited you to dinner. Something about meeting a hero. As though my assault on a deserted weapons factory had no value whatsoever. The <laughs> nerve of these people! Got the static, <laughs> Mech. Your parents don't want me, they want you. As well, they should. 
I'll take a rain check. Oh, negatory on that, oh, decorated one. Uh. Just because my parents come from the core worlds, don't lump them in with these other high-orbit types. We don't look down on rimmers the way Nathan Donar does. <laughs> so, are you coming peaceably, or shall I drag you? Hmm. Will your sister be there? <laughs> oh, be careful what you wish for, Katarn. You might just get it. In that case, it's a deal. Uh, but let me step into our room. I gotta change. This starched shirt is stiffer than a gun dart's neck. I don't believe this. We flew each one to laugh the same and Looks oh, like man. the boys have been to the bistro already. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys, get out of here. Give me some peace and hey, quiet, will come you? On. <laughs> See you, guys. Um, very funny. <laughs> yeah, they better not let the commandant catch them singing that song, or they'll be pulling maintenance duty on Sir Carpus <laughs> Four. Let's go already. We're late for dinner. I'm hurrying. Just let me change my shirt. Oh, hey, Kai, you've got a message. The incoming mail icon on your computer is blinking. <laughs> Probably just a generic congratulations message from the commandant. Nope, nothing on my computer. Looks like you got a special delivery. Well, go ahead and punch it up for me, Mac. Okay, let's see. Oh. <laughs> What's it say? Oh, God. You'd better read this for yourself. Why? What's going on? Get out of the way, Mac. How bad could it be? Let's see. To Second Lieutenant Kyle Katarn from Command Sector, blah, blah, blah. We regret to inform you that... We regret to inform you that your father, Morgan Katarn, was killed during a rebel raid. No further information is available at this time. Kyle. If this is someone's idea of a joke... I, I don't think it's a joke, Kyle. There's the official seal and everything. Uh, Kyle, I'm, I'm so sorry. Dead? Killed by rebels? Look, Kyle. You know I don't flaunt my religion around here for obvious reasons. But at times like this, we can take some comfort in knowing that there is a grand scheme No offense, Mac, but please spare me your religious cliches. I just... my father. Mac, back on that rebel base, I wasn't a hero. In fact, I could have greased more rebels. Instead, I let them go. Now I find out that rebels murdered my father? You know how that makes me feel? I save them, they kill my father? I wish I'd wipe them all out, and if I get the chance again, I will. I swear I will. Oh, no, you won't. Jan, it's the chance of a lifetime. No way, Roscoe. You think after what happened back on that asteroid, I can go on a cruise ship? I want to get back in the trenches. I need to strike back at the Imperial goons that killed my team. All the more reason to cool your engines, Jan. <sighs> and these orders came right from the top. Look, every being in the Rebellion has a personal score to settle with the Empire. I'd love to get my hands on the imps that raided the station. Mm -hmm. I lost people on that asteroid, too. We just have to pick the right time, and now isn't it. Mm, but it is the right time to take a vacation on a space cruiser. Not a vacation, a recruiting trip. You never know what you'll find on these star cruises. Good evening, sir, and welcome to the cruise ship Star of Empire. My name is ND4, and I'm one of the many service droids whose job it is to make your cruise a comfortable one. May I take your bag? Uh, sure. I've just got the one Thank here. Thank you. And may I see your data ticket? Uh, sure. It's, uh, right Thank here. you. Ah, very well. So nice to have you aboard, Lieutenant Katarn. Is this your first time on a star cruiser? Uh, yeah, I just graduated from the academy, and I've got some time before my first tour of duty, so I thought I'd celebrate with a little vacation. Yes, sir. We encourage all our Imperial officers to take a nice long vacation. Your cabin is located on the starlight deck. Right this way, please. Starlight deck, huh? That sounds promising. I take it that means my room has a viewport out into space? Well... No, sir. It is, however, located in the very center of the ship's activities. Mm, near the game rooms? No, sir. The sublight engines. Right this way. Most of the elevators stop on all 40 decks, sir. Although some decks are restricted to ship's personnel only. It's a big ship. More than two kilometers long, and equipped to carry 5,000 passengers, sir. Owned and operated by the Hajj family. The Hajj family? <laughs> yeah, they're an interesting bunch. They give discount rates to Imperial officers like me, but I also hear they share coordinates with the Rebellion. Share coordinates, sir? I'm afraid I'm not familiar with the term in context. I mean, they're close to. Ah, 
Ah, a metaphor. As in, in league with or connected to. Mm -hmm. Excellent, sir. One must keep on one's toes when dealing with as many species as I see in a day. Anyway, is it true about the Hajj family? Because I'm not sure I can ride on a ship owned by people with rebel sympathies. I couldn't say, sir. My programming doesn't take me much farther than the elevators, I'm afraid. This is the Starlight Deck, sir. And your cabin is right here. Oh, how convenient. Inside, you'll find everything you need right at your fingertips. That's because I can stand in the middle of the room and touch all four walls. This cabin is tiny. Yes, sir. Enjoy your stay. Thanks. Well, there's no way I'm going to spend much time in here. Let's see what's happening on this heap. Um, clubs? Restaurants? Sabak lounges? Exercise room? <laughs> Everything costs too much for a lowly lieutenant salary. Isn't anything free around here? Oh, here we go. Observation deck. That sounds nice. I'll enjoy a nice, quiet view of the planet before the ship launches. Uh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I guess. Uh, excuse me. Everyone else had the same idea. Oh. Uh, pardon me. That's quite all right. I didn't even see you and your droid there. It's kind of crowded up here. Hmm. I'd swear people are bumping into me on purpose. Well, forgive me for saying so, but it's the uniform. What do you mean? This is a brand new officer's uniform. Uh, exactly. May I assume you're a recent graduate of the Academy? As a matter of fact, I Then you just... haven't spent much time out in the real galaxy. And no offense, but you're going to find that that uniform earns you more sneers than salutes out here. What you're saying could be treason. Treason? No, not me. I'm just a businessman telling you the way of the galaxy. If you don't want to get bruised, you might look for another place to lounge. The observation deck's always a popular spot. Now, personally, I prefer the sabak tables. Unfortunately, they don't open until the ship launches. Hmm, so I suppose I'll just have to enjoy the scenery until then. That is a pretty spectacular view of the planet. Uh, perhaps, but I was referring to those two stunning creatures at that table over there. Do you think they're sisters? <laughs> Probably, mm. since they both bear a striking resemblance to the great dragon glaring back at you. Hmm, well, there's nothing like an overprotective mother to ruin a cruise. <laughs> well, I think I'll freshen up before the real fun begins. Come on, Foofy. Rimmer! Oh, don't tell me. Hey, 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 Rimmer! How are you, old boy? <sighs> don't let anybody on a star cruiser these days, won't they? Hello, Nathan. <laughs> Uh, last time I saw you, you had just passed out during the graduation ceremony, uh, yeah, well, and you were drowning your shame in Norvanian grog. Uh -huh. How's the hangover? That's long gone, old Rimmer. It's long gone. <laughs> but all right already. Enough rubbernecking. It's time to meet my father. In fact, how about lunch? As you can see from his three chins, the old man's rather fond of a good feed, and we can latch on. Are, are you kidding? Why in the world would a core world snob like you invite me to lunch? Father? Lo uh, father? Here he is. Th this is the war hero I served with. Oh, I see. Come on over and meet my best friend. <laughs> How was that runyip stew, Kyle? Uh, excellent, Governor Donar. Thanks again for lunch. I think nothing of it, my boy. <laughs> nothing but the best for one of Nathan's protégés. Uh, right. Oh, try some of these candied insects. They're a favorite among the Kubas. The Star of Empire keeps a few cases of them on board just for me. Really? You must travel quite often. Well, my duties as governor of the Dara Force system do keep me busy, but uh, one must find time for the pleasures in life. Don't you agree, Nathan? Oh, yes, sir. So, Kyle, exactly why does Nathan call you a war hero? A uh, decorated war hero, Father. Decorated, you say? Uh huh When? Why? During the graduation ceremony for valor on a rebel-held asteroid. Oh, of course, of course. Here, have some more wine, my boy. How silly of me to forget. Congratulations, son. A Medal of Valor is something to be proud of. Indeed. Katarn, Katarn. I'm afraid I am not familiar with the name. What line of business is your family in? Uh, my father is a craftsman and a farmer, sir. Craftsman, I see. Uh, at uh, least he was. He died recently, murdered by rebels. Rebels, you say? Blaster their miserable hides. A pox on every single one of them. Um, uh, your voice carries, Father. Remember where we are. I don't care where we are. I've said it before and I'll say it again. The only good rebel is a dead rebel. You mark my words, son. 
The Emperor has something in store for this so-called alliance, and your father will be avenged. Thank you, sir. You speak as if you know something specific. Oh, I do, my boy. I do. Unfortunately, I can't share official secrets, even to a brave young officer in the Emperor's Navy. Pardon me. Pardon me. Please excuse me. Governor Donar? Indeed. My name is Lando Calrissian. Ah. Well, greeting, Citizen Carissian. <laughs> oh, excuse me, uh, this is my son Nathan and his friend Kyle Katar. Uh, we've met on the observation deck. <laughs> Indeed we did. Well, how odd to run into someone again so soon on a ship this big. Governor, now I hear that you know your way around a sabak table. And I hoped you might honor a small game I'm organizing. Sabak? Hmm. Uh, well, uh, I have been known to uh, dabble. <laughs> <laughs> dabble? The governor, I think you were holding out on us. Well, Carissian, <laughs> I confess I have my share of luck. <laughs> well, I wish you'd send some of it this way, Governor. What's the matter? Had enough, Carissian, or uh, shall we go for one more round? Well, if you insist, Governor, ah. um, deal the cards. <laughs> Uh-oh. Why do you sound so cautious, Kyle? My father's won the last three rounds. <laughs> Can't you see that gambler's just setting him up? Now what makes you say that? I don't know. Just a feeling. That Calrissian knows his way around a sabak deck. I guarantee you he's got something up. Kyle? Dear Afford a Kyle. That What's wrong? That girl. What girl? Uh, that one wearing the green tunic. I think I recognize her. Kyle? Uh, be right back. Kyle! Excuse me. <clears throat> Pardon me. I think I saw her go down that hallway. <clears throat> if I could just get through this crowd. Excuse me. Pardon me. Oh. What's that smell? Ah, uh, that would be me. As you see, I am a Rodian, and it seems humans find our scent to be, shall we say, unappetizing. I've tried to hide it with this cologne, uh, Stick with the body odor, friend. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm trying to find someone. Of course, officer. Mm, most interesting. I'm sure she came this way. Now, where? There, down that corridor. I'm sure it's the rebel from the asteroid. I've got to catch her. I, I need to talk to her. Oh, what am I saying? I need to arrest her. She's one of them, and they killed my father. Oh, an intersection. Which way could she... Oh, excuse me. Yes, officer? D did you see a young woman come by here, uh, about 5'3", dark hair, and a green tunic? Why, yes, officer. She went down that hallway to your left. Thanks, thanks. Oh, wait! Hold that elevator! Wait! Oh, blast it! She must have gone in this elevator. Uh, th there are only two decks below this one. And according to the diagram, the second one is off-limits to passengers. Maybe I can still catch her if there's a... Ah, a maintenance shaft. With a ladder. A quick slide will get me down as fast as an elevator. Here goes. Whoa! Careful now. That's no way to slide down a ladder. What if you fell and broke your neck? What would the Emperor do then? Roscoe, huh? that's enough. The passageway is clear. Bring him out of the maintenance, too. Don't struggle. There's no way you're going to break this chokehold, and if you put up a fight, I'll snap your head right off. Understood? Roscoe, Roscoe, bring him over here. Come on, Roscoe. Waller's got the storage doors open. Bring him into this cargo bay. In you go, boy. Thanks for the shop. Let me return the favor. You call those punches? What do they teach you, officer types in the Empire? Yeah. Oh. To fight dirty. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna enjoy pulping you. No. Hold it right there, officer. Don't try anything else. Dude. No, it's three on one in here, and Waller's got a holdout blaster that'll burn a nice hole in your pretty new uniform. Yeah. You keep still, Roscoe. You asked for that one, and you learned something in the bargain. The lieutenant may not look like much, but he took our asteroid station. All the more reason to kill him. No. Huh? You've had a change of heart. A while ago, you were the one all hot to kill Imperials. Now we've got a chance. I say we dump him down a garbage chute and go get lunch. No, you also said we had to pick the right time. I don't think this is it. I was on that asteroid. This Imperial could have killed us. He should have killed us, but didn't. That took guts. So where does that leave us? Well, that's up to him, Waller. What do you say, Imperial? You gave me my life, I'll give you yours. I'll take it. Store the hardware, Waller. Why should we trust him? The fact that he's not completely heartless doesn't mean he's one of the good guys. Enough, Waller. I'm Jan Ors. Kyle Katar. Glad to meet you, Kyle. Now, do I have your word? No funny business so long as we're aboard this ship? 
Considering that your friend's finger is itching to pull that trigger, I'd say it's the best deal I can make. So yeah, we've got a deal. And what's his word worth? A hut's breakfast? This is my show, Roscoe. Waller. Affirmative. Now, Kyle, why were you following me? You people are pretty impressive. You set this trap on the fly, didn't you? Totally improvised. Improvisation is what we do best. Now, why? I... I can't say exactly. I, I guess I wanted to talk to you to learn more about what happened. You probably won't believe me, but most of the troopers who died on that asteroid were good men. A lot of good people died that day, Kyle. That's how war is. I mean, you chose to be a soldier. What did you expect? Yeah, well, what about my father? He was a craftsman, not a soldier. And the rebels killed him anyway. Explain that. Killed by... What planet? A moon called Sullen. It orbits the planet Sullust. And your father's name? Morgan Katarn. Hey, Jan. Do you think he's... Kyle. Where did you get the idea that your father died at the hands of the Alliance? I got a message from the Commandant of the Academy. Some of the old-timers always say the Force moves in mysterious ways. Come on, I've got someone you should meet. Jan, no. This is a mistake. He's got a right to know the truth. Well, that's what this rebellion is about, or it's not about anything. Come on, let's get to my cabin. So, how'd you swing a cabin up here on the luxury decks? Let's just say some of the crew members are sympathetic to the cause. There. <laughs> nice place. <laughs> AC, come on out. I want to introduce someone. Yes, Jan. What can I... I am a bomb. Unauthorized access, manipulation, or interference with me or my programming, data storage modules, or other systems will result in the detonation of 4.2 kilos of Plytex 9 explosive. Hey, what's with this? I have identified a Class 3 threat, and in accordance with my programming, I'm taking appropriate action. Detonation sequence activated. Countdown initiated. Ten. Nine. We've got to eight, get out of here! Seven, override code Alpha six, Bravo Zeta five, one nine or six. Four. Execute. Override authenticated. Detonation sequence terminated. Glad to hear it. As I am, sir. I have no desire to blow myself up unnecessarily. Sorry about that. You triggered his destruct program. Oh. It was the uniform combined with the fact that AC is something of an orphan. The reason for that will become apparent in a moment. But first, when they sent your team to that asteroid, did they say why? No, not exactly. They said the objective was to take out a communications relay station. I didn't think I needed to know anymore. It was more than just a relay station. The truth about the Emperor and his many atrocities is one of the most potent weapons the Alliance has. Once aware of it, neutral parties become more sympathetic. New alliances are formed and support is solidified. But the Emperor controls galaxy-wide communications, and the vast distances between planets makes it difficult to spread the word. You're talking treason. Please hear me out. In order to get proof to neutral planets, the Alliance has reporters, beings who roam from planet to planet, mm. often within Imperial-controlled space, collecting stories for dissemination to those willing to see and hear. Many of these reporters have companions, like AC here, who are equipped to capture, store, and edit whatever they witness. Once the stories have been prepared, they're broadcast throughout the Empire by communication stations, like the one on the asteroid you invaded. So, we stopped you from broadcasting anti-Imperial propaganda. Why should I care? Kyle, AC here was partnered with a woman named Candace Ondi. She died on Sullen covering the story you're about to see. AC, show Lieutenant Katarn the battle for the sullen G-tap. Affirmative. You recognize the place in this hollow projection. Uh, sure. I grew up not far from there. Mm -hmm. Those are the mountains near the geothermal tap that my father and the other colonists on Sullen used to get power. I also see it's being attacked. Mm -hmm. By who? It looks like pirates. They're dressed in ragtag outfits. And I see a few rebel insignias. Keep watching. That Imperial Walker. Someone's painted a rebel insignia on it. But that's not very likely. If the rebels ever did manage to capture one of those weapons, I doubt they'd put it to such casual use. Exactly. Anything else? Uh, yes. The way those so-called rebel troops are moving in on the defenders. Standard Imperial formation. Those are stormtroopers dressed up to look like rebels. Correct. Keep watching. It gets worse. This is Morgan Katarn, leader of the rebels on Sullen, the only moon of Sullen. Oh. I don't have much time left, but with luck, 
This protocol droid will escape the battle and spread the images of this blood path to every planet in the galaxy. To make sure everyone knows our story, I'm recording exactly what happened. My, my father? A rebel? Well, I, I always suspected he felt some sympathy, but I, I never knew. He, he never told me. A lot of us keep secrets from our loved ones, Kyle. He even let me go to the Imperial Academy. He wanted me to get an education. Did... did you know him? I knew of him. What happened to him? I don't think you should watch, Kyle. It's not pretty. Show me. After he recorded his message, Morgan fought off the Imperials while AC made his escape. He knew the droid had to survive so that he could prove who really destroyed the Sullen colony. It took AC hours to reach the spaceport. By that time, the Imperials had gotten there ahead of him. AC took these hollow video shots of the spaceport. I recognize it. But what's that stuff on the wall? There never used to be decorations in the spaceport. AC's about to zoom in, Kyle. I'm warning you, it's not- Oh, by all the stars! Those are heads! They've covered the wall in decapitated heads! And that's my... my... No! No! You watched the recording? Yes, Roscoe. Hmm. It's a tough way for anyone to learn the truth. Yeah. Hey, what's this on the floor? It's this Medal of Valor. He tore it off. What do you think it means? I think it means a rebel was born today. Star Wars, Dark Forces, Soldier for the Empire. In the early days of the rebellion, a tentative alliance is formed. Lieutenant Kyle Katarn, who had devoted the last four years of his life to the Imperial Academy, had just returned from his first successful mission as an Imperial officer. Hailed as a hero by his teachers and awarded a Medal of Valor, Kyle himself was deeply troubled. At the moment of victory, he had allowed a group of rebels, including a beautiful young woman, to escape. As thoughts of the young rebel troubled him, Kyle learned that his father had been killed. At first, Kyle blamed the rebels for his father's death. But a fateful meeting with the same beautiful rebel revealed to Kyle that the Emperor's servants were responsible for the murder. In a swift act of defiance, Kyle tore the Medal of Valor from his uniform utterly rejecting the Empire. Now, the young soldier hovers between light and shadow, caught between the evil Empire and the fledgling rebellion. And no one knows which side will claim him. Oh, battered old ship needs to be totally overhauled. I can't believe I've flown her this many light years and spit and positive thinking. Oh. Oh, if the Rebellion doesn't assign me a better ship, I swear May I... I help you, ma'am? What? Excuse me? I offered to help you in repairing your ship, ma'am. That is, lady, that... that is... Jan. You can call me Jan, and thanks for the offer, but you're not even a maintenance droid. No, ma'am. I'm a porter droid. Hmm. However, the crew of the Star of Empire aim to please. Besides, all the maintenance droids are currently occupied. Yeah, well, thanks, but... No, thanks. I can handle this myself. Very well. Jan. Have a nice day. Oh, now, if I can just release the last bolt on this motivator plate, I can lower the whole motivator and work on... Oh! Oh! Ah, big mistake. Oh, oh, forgot how heavy these motivators are. Oh, should have called a maintenance droid. Even that stupid porter. Oh, oh, don't know how much longer I can hold it. Say, that looks heavy. You need help? What? makes you say that? Uh, mind if I lend a hand? If it'll make you happy. 
There we go. Uh, uh, easy does it. Oh, there. Oh, thanks. Uh, you should have used a floor jack or called for a maintenance droid. You, you could have hurt yourself. Oh, thanks, but I do all right by myself. Uh, well, we all need help now and then. Uh, speaking of which, need any help with this ship? No. Well, sure, I mean, we don't call her the truly sorry for nothing. <laughs> the truly sorry, huh? <laughs> Uh, that's how I feel just right now. Well, let's see if the Academy taught you anything useful. I'll work on this wiring harness. You tackle the diagnostics. Huh? You bet. Hmm. Say, you know your way around this ship. <laughs> you ever worked on one of these things before? Uh, nope. No. You're working like an expert. Yeah, I guess. Um, my uh, dad always used to say that, too. Hmm. I don't know. Sometimes when I relax, things just... Sort of happen. <laughs> it's like I know what to do without knowing, you know? <laughs> you sound like some of the old timers in the rebellion who talk about the force. <laughs> and you sound like my father. He was always talking about that old religion, too. I never put much stock in it myself. Still. Huh. You're finished already? That's impossible. <laughs> if you say so. I can always take it apart again if that makes you happier. No, no, no. You just saved me about five hours of work. I told you. I just sort of let my mind go and things happen. Hmm. Unfortunately, I can't conjure equipment out of thin air. The <laughs> sensor package needs to be totally replaced. No problem. That's one of the few things I actually have a replacement for. Uh, if you could uh, just... Jim? Yeah. I want to join. I want to do the kind of work you do. I don't exactly have the authority to recruit agents, Kyle. But I know the people who do were scheduled to part company with the Star two days from now. Assuming your repairs hold, you're welcome to come along. Count me in. Well, well. This is turning into an interesting little scandal after all. Yes. It looks like the officer and the young lady have decided to share coordinates. Share coordinates? What do you mean? A metaphor I learned recently. It isn't important. In any case, I told you they looked suspicious. Yes, and when I saw him go after that woman in the casino, I knew something was up. Good thing that mini-transmitter you planted on the woman's ship is coming in loud and clear. You know, for a porter droid, you've got a good eye for suspicious characters. I owe it all to my years of experience with you, Slider. Ah. You could do worse. I am a unique individual. Unique? You are a Rodian, are you not? I thought many Rodians were bounty hunters. Of course, but none of the other bounty hunters are as smart as I. For instance, most bounty hunters wait for the Imperials to put a price on their enemy's head, and then they traipse all over the galaxy looking for the bad guys. That is the usual method. And a great deal of work, too. Me? I do the opposite. I identify people that ought to have a price on their head, and then I go to the authorities. It's a great deal less trouble. I see. So that is why you have lived on the Star of Empire for the last seven years? Precisely. So many people travel on board this floating pleasure palace every cruise, I always find someone who's worth their weight in credits. Ah. Oh, but these two... I've been watching them since you pointed out the Imperial officer to me. Them, plus the two rebels working with the girl, plus that droid. Oh, I could retire on this bounty. How will you collect? No problem. There's an Imperial official right on board this ship. His name is Governor Danal, Governor Donal. Governor Donar? There is some thing here to see you. It says its business is quite urgent. Very well, send it in. I'm surprised at you, Father, receiving an unannounced visitor. Oh, don't be, Nathan. I'll do nearly anything to take my mind off the fortune I lost to that Calrissian fellow. <laughs> Greetings, Excellency. Oh, what's that smell? Governor Donar, stories of your wisdom, generosity, and strength are more numerous than the stars. Uh, indeed. Uh, may I be of some assistant citizen, uh, uh, Slider, is it? Uh, you mentioned a matter of some urgency, I believe. Your Excellency steals the words straight from my snout. 
I, like many members of my species, make a living as a bounty hunter. Not from a desire to accumulate credits, but out of our love for the Empire. Yes, 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 of course. Uh, just exactly what are you selling? Your Excellency cuts to the very heart of the matter. There are at least three rebel agents aboard this ship, as well as a droid who may carry valuable data. And last but not least, an Imperial officer who seems ready to desert. What? An officer? Rebels? Who? Where? I have the answers to your questions on this holocube. May I? Indeed. Play on. But I know the people who do were scheduled to part company with what? the star two days from now. Assuming your repairs hold, you're welcome to come along. What? Count me in. By the Emperor, that's Kyle. As you can see, he clearly plans to desert to the rebel cause. Rebel treachery! I can't believe it. Katarn was never political enough to become a traitor. More likely, he's, he's fallen for a pretty face. Damn their miserable lies! Sending trollops to corrupt our officers! I'm sure your Excellency will agree that this information has proven quite valuable. I will even offer my services in the capture of these felons. For, of course, an additional fee, which we can yes, certainly Yes, 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 but, but first things first. We'll arrest a lot of them and put an end to this outrage! Ugh. I'm exhausted. Oh, I did more work on that ship of Jan's than I've done in the last two terms at the Academy, and it's still not half done. Oh, I could use a nap. But what is that sound? Oh, the message signal. Computer, play message. Audio? Hey, Rimmer. It's Nathan here. Just a word to the wise pal. Stay clear of the girl, and be ready to answer some questions. Oh. She is not pretty enough to waste your career on. No, no. no. Uh, computer, connect me to the room of Jan Ors, now. Hello? Uh, Jan, it's Kyle. Kyle, look, we worked like Cyborian dogs today. I'm taking a nap. No, you're not. Listen, someone, my, my guess is Governor Donar, knows about the team. They could arrive at any moment. Copy. <clears throat> Grab what you can and meet us on the hangar deck. Right. I'll call the others. Hurry! Oh, I didn't think the hangar bay was this far away. <laughs> Never thought I'd be happy for all those morning runs in the academy conditioning class. Uh, Roscoe! Waller! Get ready to rocket! Get on board the ship. Me and my blaster rifle are guarding the rear. Uh, has Jan arrived? Not yet. We got the message to meet her in the hangar bay, but I thought she'd be here before us. Where's Waller? Up in the laser turret. Okay, I'll crank her up. You cover Jan and AC. Who died and made you Emperor? Uh, can you fly this thing? Ah, Jan's the pilot. Uh, well, I can. Glad to hear it, Admiral. But how are you gonna open the hangar bay doors? The hangar bay? You know, big Durasteel jobs. Oh. Keep all the ships in the hangar right over there. You cover Jan, I'll handle the rest. See, get your servos in gear. Affirmative, Jan. I'm right behind you. Okay, the corridor's clear. Let's go. You! Oh! Run! Are they stormtroopers? Oh, doesn't look like it. A couple of military types. Officers, I think. Stop! An old fat guy that's probably the governor Kyle mentioned. An Erodian. Bounty hunter, I'll bet. Thank the maker. That means they won't be as accurate as... Oh. Oh. AC! AC! Oh, bless! You there! Stay where you are! I promise you, I see you. I'll come back for you if I can! Done. Okay, systems powered up, comm links and engines online. And you, Jan? Uh, sorry, Waller. I know I'm not as good looking, but I'll have to do. You just keep on those guns. Okay, let's see if I can really fly this thing. Um, this is truly sorry to Hangar Control. Control here. Request permission to depart Hangar Bay five minutes from now. You better be truly sorry, friend. Departure request must be filed at least 30 standard hours prior to liftoff. Permission denied. I've been breaking rules all day. No reason to stop now. Control to sorry. Return to your slot, power down, and lower your ramp. No can do, Control. Open the doors, or I'll open them for you. My scanners say you don't pack enough punch. Return to your slot before someone gets hurt. Uh, looks like you're right, Control. Uh, but I've got another idea. Uh, hey, Waller, uh, see that shuttle on the far side of the hangar bay? Blast it! Blast it now! He means it! Sound the alarm! This is an emergency. Clear the hangar deck. I repeat, clear the hangar deck. Stand by for emergency depressurization. This hangar is going vacuum in 0 minus 60 seconds. Repeat, hangar depressurization in 60 seconds. Roscoe, we're primed for launch. Those doors are opening, so get yourself an oxygen mask. I'm way ahead of you. Where's Jan? No need to panic, Admiral. There she is. And she brought company. Come on, Jan. Kick it into hyperdrive. Oh, I'd like to see you run this far. You've almost made it. Kyle, she's almost...
almost at the ramp. Waller, Jan and Roscoe are still out there and they've got pursuit. We need to buy them some time. Time to practice on moving targets. <laughs> oh, nice shooting. Okay, we're on. Hatch closed. Go, go. I could do some property damage before letting go. Negative, we're about to catch heavy fire. Next stop, deep space. Status, Kyle. 50 kilometers off the Star of Empires hangar deck and increasing the gap. Engines are at 90% max, which isn't saying much. The Truly Sorry is well named. You got us out of that place. Not bad for a wet behind the ears kid. Thanks, Kyle. Looks like I owe you all over again. Sorry to break up the reunion, but I've got bad news from the gun turret. We've got company. The Rebel ship is taking evasive action. There's no way that junk heap can match our personal yacht. With all due respect, Your Excellency, we would already have caught them if you hadn't insisted on dragging this damaged droid aboard. Uh, a good politician covers every angle, bounty hunter. Yeah. This droid could be important. Nathan, let one of the others take the controls. Okay. I'll need your help reactivating this droid's main programs. Gunners, lock on turbo batteries and fire! We can't take much more of this. Kyle, any chance we can outrun them? <laughs> Not unless you can get out and push. These old engines are at max. Uh, how about a hyperspace jump? We could lose them in a hurry. Yeah, uh, we could, if the nav computer knew our coordinates. No. You didn't happen to load in our position, uh, did you? My hands were kind of full. Uh, well, let's hope the computer picks up a hyperspace beacon nearby. In the meantime, I'll run the star scans through the system. Uh, That'll tell us where we are. Which is in deep trouble. They're gaining. <laughs> 2,000 kilometers in closing. Excellent. Nathan, how are you doing on that droid? I think I have it, Father. Just one more connection. There! Oh dear, oh dear. I've been shot. Where am I now? You're aboard an Imperial starship. I am Lieutenant Nathan Donar. An Imperial officer. Oh dear. I am a bomb. Unauthorized access, manipulation, or interference with me or my programming, data storage modules, or other systems will result in the detonation of 4.2 kilos of Plydex 9 explosives. Oh, this whole thing's about to blow up in our faces. If we don't reduce speed, these engines will burn up. Bring the ship around. What? Just do it. Do it! What's your plan? Well, we can't outrun them, so that leaves only one choice. Blow our brains out? Right idea, wrong people. Waller, give them everything you got. Copy that. Oh, this is useless. You might as well use a slingshot against those shields. Well, you got a better idea? I'm open to suggestions. Oh! oh. What the? The Imperial ship is gone. Lucky shot? Ah, uh, no one's that lucky. It must have been an internal explosion, but I don't know. I... Hey, what happened to AC? Ah, uh, of course, Roscoe. They must have brought him on board the ship and gotten his systems online. They shoved a uniform in front of his sensors and blammo! Oh, poor thing, I, I liked him. Nathan Donar was wearing an Imperial uniform. I'll bet he was aboard that ship. All those lives. Imperial lives, Kyle. Taken by a rebel team of which you were a part. Like it or not, you're definitely part of the rebellion now. Sublight systems check shows all clear. X-Wing Squadron, you're clear for departure. Welcome aboard the Alliance flagship. The dreadnought we call New Hope. You know, I heard the rebels had snuck into one of the orbital war museums and stolen a dreadnought. But I figured it was just propaganda. Nope. We stole her and refitted her. <laughs> Where'd you take her to be rebuilt? Sorry, I can't tell you. Uh. But she's combat ready from stem to stern. Still, the most powerful effect is psychological. Stealing an entire battle cruiser proved that the Alliance was strong and the Empire wasn't invincible. So, what do you think? She's impressive. Mm -hmm. Too bad one Victory Class Star Destroyer could fight her to a standstill. Hmm. Oh, hey, listen, I think you like Mon Mothma. Everybody does. I could tell. The way those guards frisked me back there, you'd think I was going to see their mother. Well, in a way, you are. Right through here. <laughs> Greetings, Kyle Katarn. It's a pleasure to meet you. I was sorry to hear about your father. He was an important leader. You knew my father? Well, not personally, but we had a mutual friend long ago. A Jedi Knight named Ron. A Jedi? <laughs> I remember my father always talked about one of those old mystics. I figured it was just nostalgia. Mm, nostalgia can be a powerful tool. It helps us remember that goodness is not impossible. Jan tells me you want to serve as one of our agents. Why? I want to find the people who murdered my father and kill them. I understand how you feel, Kyle. 
Believe me, we all do. But we must struggle to remain objective. The people who killed your father are evil, but the greater evil lies behind them and sits on a stolen throne. Once we defeat that, once we defeat Palpatine, the murderers will be found. So tell me, could you put your personal needs aside long enough to tackle a mission so important it may change the course of the rebellion? Uh, y yes. I, I think so. Good. May the future forgive me if I'm wrong, but I'm going to take a chance on you. We are not as well equipped as the Empire, Kyle, and sometimes I must fall back on a most rudimentary tool, my intuition. It tells me that this is the right thing to do. I won't let you down. Please turn your attention to the holo projector. Huh, I see it. That's some kind of artificial moon or a grid of a small planet. Uh, no, Kyle. The Imperials call it the Death Star, and it's an apt description. Once this battle station is completed, it will be capable of destroying an entire planet. What? Th that's impossible. I was an engineering student at the Academy. They were always asking us to come up with ways to do things like that. You'd need a laser strong enough to penetrate through miles of rock, hitting a planetary core and triggering an explosion so massive it would tear the world apart. Exactly. And the Death Star mounts the most powerful super laser ever constructed. The Emperor has something in store for the so-called Alliance. What was that? I just remembered something Governor Donar said. I think you're right. There is talk of building this thing. But is it real? Oh, it's real. The battle station is nearly complete. It currently orbits the Despair Penal Colony. Once completed, it will measure 120 kilometers in diameter. We'll have a complement of 27,000 officers, almost 775,000 troops, pilots, and other combat personnel, along with an additional 400,000 support personnel and 25,000 stormtroopers. Oh. The Death Star will also carry assault shuttles, blast boats, strike cruisers, drop ships, land vehicles, and more than 7,000 TIE fighters. Its hull will be protected by 10,000 turbo laser batteries, 2,500 laser cannons, and more than 700 tractor beam projectors. Your information is impressive. Many beings died getting this information to us. What's the mission? The research complex where the Death Star was designed is located on Danuta. We want you to go there, find your way into the facility, and retrieve those plans. Assuming the engineers identify a weak spot, the Death Star could be destroyed. Look, fighting to avenge my father is one thing. Throwing my life away is another. You're talking about a suicide mission. Why not launch a commando raid instead? This is a diagram of the city on Denuda where the Imperial Research Facility is located. The city is called Trid. The spaceport is here, the fusion plant here, and the research facility is here, uh -huh. within a few hundred meters of these private homes, a school, and a temple. Now, we could send in a commando team with a slightly higher chance of success, but we'd risk destroying that community in the battle to get in and out. Uh -huh. Do you think we should? What would your Imperial trainers say? Send in the commandos. It's the success of the mission that counts. Not here. Not to us. Is this the way you get people to risk their lives for you? Through psychological manipulation? Sometimes, if I think it will work. What do you say, Kyle? Did your agents provide anything else? Just this. Those images look like they're from inside the facility. They are. One of our agents managed to reprogram a maintenance droid. This is video of the room in which the plans are kept. You can see a few Imperial officers moving around, and there is the U-shaped frame that houses the key. The key itself is that glowing object in the center. Hey, that's Odom Mech. He must have gotten his first choice assignment after all. What's that? What did you see? Uh, nothing. Did you know that, officer? I, I thought I did, but I was wrong. I see. So, Kyle, what's your decision? Will you take the mission? For the rebel cause? For the rebel cause? No. But for my father? Yes. I'll take your mission. Well spoken, Kyle. You'll find someone outside who will take you to your quarters. We'll speak again shortly. So, Jen, what do you think? Uh, he's scared, but who wouldn't be? The chances for survival are slim. And that bothers you? Yes. Do the two of you have a relationship? Not in the sense you mean, no. Could you kill him if you had to? Kill him? Yes, if he deserved it. What are you suggesting? Katarn lied. The officer in the holo is named Odom Mech. He was Katarn's roommate at the academy. 
and his friend, his only friend. So? Maybe that means something, and maybe it doesn't. Don't forget about the lives he spared back on that asteroid, or his actions on the star, not to mention the fact that the Imperials killed his father. Yes, but what if the whole thing were planned? The head could be faked? What if his father is alive, held prisoner against Kyle's actions? What if the whole thing is part of a complex plan to place a spy in our ranks? The Empire is capable of that and much more. I want you to follow Katarn. Watch his every move and kill him if he turns on us. Can you do it? If I have to. But what then? We have a backup. Our forces on Taprawa may have a shot at the Death Star plans as well. The problem is that those plans don't show engineering schematics. We need both sets to ensure success. You could send someone else. Like me. Ugh. Katarn was one of them. He knows how they think. Besides, the Emperor is notorious for hating women, almost as much as he hates aliens. A man stands a much better chance of getting into what may be an all-male facility. Mm -hmm. And... and Kyle is expendable. Yes, Jan. Kyle is expendable. We all are. Hello? I said hello! Yeah? How you doing? That depends on who's asking. I'm looking for the deck master. Could you power down that arc welder for a minute? All right, I'm the deck master, but don't ask for no maintenance droids. They're all busy. Uh, no, sir. I'm on a mission assignment, and I'm here to select a ship. Ooh, select a ship. What do you think this is, a Hutt's trophy room? You got a chit? Uh, yeah, straight from the hands of Mon Mothma herself. Here. All right. Checks out. More instructions from those metalheads up in the bridge. But listen, people like you who come down here in civilian clothes almost never return the ships you check out. And when you do, I spend weeks patching up the damage. I don't know where you folks go or what you do out there, but it's hard on my inventory, so be careful. I'll keep that in mind. All right. You got the ship in slot three, and uh -huh. take good care of it. She may not look like much, but she'll get off the ground. The Alliance will deduct the damages from your salary. I'm not even sure I get a salary. Then I'll deduct it from your hide. Now, excuse me? One thing they don't teach him in the Rebellion is etiquette. All right, slot three. Must be down, uh, this way. Oh, say, these are nice ships. X-Wing class. Uh, I'd love to make orbits in one of these babies. <laughs> That's, what's the number? Uh, uh 26. Uh, 25, 24. Uh, number six, number five, number four, number... You've got to be joking. This isn't even a ship. <laughs> hey, I thought you said this thing would get off the ground! It will! But after that, I'm not making any promises. Great. What's your name, you old freighter? The Moldy Crow, huh? Well, since I've just flown the Truly Sorry, I guess that name suits me just fine. Okay, Moldy Crow, next stop, suicide mission. Here's my ship. Are you sure you're the courier they assigned to take me? You seem awfully young. You're Jan Ors, right? Headed to the city of Trid on Danuta? Then I'm your pilot, and this is my little ship. Yeah, little is right. Don't knock him. He flies like a beam of light. Give me your satchel. Oh! oh. Lady, I'd say you brought too much makeup. Could be makeup. Or it could be the half dozen grenades, two knives, the ounce of Plytex, the Garrett lockpick, and electro binoculars I carry in there. Maybe you should just hold it. You ready? Always. Good. Strap in, keep your mouth shut, and hang on to your lunch. You'll be standing on Denuda before you can wipe the stardust from your eyes. I hope you're on our side, Kyle. I want you to be on our side, but if you're not, I'll use everything in my little bag of tricks here to make sure you never betray the Rebellion. The available room is right this way. My last tenant was quite fond of it. He was a most pleasant fellow for a rabbit. Was he hard of hearing? <laughs> he may have mentioned something to that effect, but the view certainly makes up for the noise. Have a look out that window. I can't even see out of this window. Ah, please, forgive. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, one will certainly have the windows cleaned if you decide to rent the room. It is nice, yes. Mm -hmm. You can see all the way across the spaceport. Night landings are especially pleasing to the eye. Yeah, and to the ear, I'll bet. You do not like the room? You do not want the room? Is this the only landing dock around? Of a certainty. If one wishes to land in the city of Trid, one comes here. In that case, it's perfect. I'll take it. Oh, whoa! Whoa, whoa! I'm just trying to land in the city of Trid. I didn't mean to fly into restricted space. Unidentified freighter. This is Denuda Orbital Patrol Ship X-Ray 2-Niner. Report your commanding officer's name, number of passengers aboard, cargo, Port of Origin, and business on Denuda. Moldy Crow to Imperial X-Ray 2-Niner. Copy that. My name's Drexel, Dan Drexel, and I'm the sole person aboard. My port of origin was Drog 6 in the corporate sector. I've got a load of high-priority spares for the Broadsport Mining Corporation. Rel Farley's the assistant manager there. Tell him the first pint of grog's on me. Uh, let's hope that name Mon Mothma gave me will get me past security. X-ray 2-9er to Moly Crow. You have clearance for Trid. And thank you, Rel Farley, whoever you are. Approach vectors are being uploaded to your nav computer. Stay inside them. Any other flight plan will be hazardous to your health. Have a nice day. That was close. Okay, on course to land in Trid. Uh, time to review the instructions Mon Mothma left. Kyle, by this time you should have arrived at Denuda and are making your approach at Trid. Our scouts have little good to report of the city. It's nothing more than a bland collection of prefabricated buildings housing colonial workers and imperial contractors. The spaceport is on the eastern edge of the city. Your true target is on the far side of the spaceport, the Imperial Research Facility. Let's just make a pass before landing. Now a short distance from the spaceport, you should see the fenced and shielded edge of the research center. Yeah, but what's that huge black lake in the lake distance? In the you'll distance? see a huge black lake. Oh. On closer inspection, you'll see that this lake is actually the solid surface of the planet. It's been superheated until liquid and then allowed to cool. Mm. Our spies tell us that this was accomplished using a small-scale model of the Death Star super laser. It had only one hundredth of the Death Star's power. Imagine what the actual weapon will do if we allow it to be completed. It'll crush planets to a pulp. Now the plans to the Death Star are inside that research facility. You must get them. The fate of the galaxy depends upon it. Good luck, Kyle. Great. No pressure. No pressure at all. Welcome to Trid. Uh, thanks. And you are? The local Imperial Customs agent. Uh, Let me see your documents. Uh... Your name is Dan Drexel? That's right. Strange. You look familiar to me somehow. Have you delivered a trip before? Uh, no, but I've done work for the Empire before. That's so. Seems to me I saw your face in a debriefing. Wait here, I've got to check this out. Oh, come on, Kyle, come on. Can't you see what he wants? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I, I know you're just doing your job, but I got dragged out of hyperspace by an uncharted gravity well, and I'm way behind schedule. Uh, couldn't we settle this uh, right here? I'm not sure I understand your meaning. Oh, come on, call his bluff, Kyle. Call his bluff. <laughs> you don't need to take my meaning, friend. You just need to take these credits. All right. I just forgot my debriefing this morning. Move along. Move along. Yes. Yes, Kyle. Good job, Kyle. You just learned how the Empire really works. You might make a decent rebel after all. This town's about as attractive as a hut's backside. The only thing keeping it going is the research facility. Well, I guess this town and I have something in common then, because the research center's the only thing keeping me here, too. Oh, but there's no way to sneak inside. Not with all those fences, sensor screens, and guards posted everywhere. And with that much security, I wonder how Mon Mothma managed to sneak a droid inside to take pictures. And an even better question, what happened to it afterwards? It's obviously not around to steal those plans for the Rebels itself. Come on, Odom. You've never let me down before. Uh, may I be of assistance? Uh, I think so. It's pretty dark in there. I can hardly see you. Are you one of the Bamar monks? I am, indeed. You stand before the threshold of our temple. Uh, great. I I'm looking for an Imperial soldier named Odom Mech. I, I was hoping he might be here. We have no Imperial soldiers here. 
Imperial soldiers do not worship. I, I know. Odom keeps his religion a secret, but his secret's safe with me. I'm an old friend. That's how I know your afternoon service is starting right about now, so I figured he'd be here. No, please, let me in. Come with me. Do you seek the path of enlightenment? Uh, if I did, I wouldn't look here. Uh, uh, why do you keep this place so dark? <laughs> True enlightenment comes from within, not from without. There is no darkness where the mind is free. Ow! Oh, God. How can the mind be free when the body's worried about stubbing its toes? What did I trip over anyway? Wait, by the Empire, what is that thing? Don't shoot it. That is one of the enlightened ones. It's a brain stuck in a jar. And it's being carried by some kind of spider droid? It looks that way to the unenlightened. When a Bamar monk attains enlightenment, his brain is removed from his body and placed inside one of these brain walkers so that he may contemplate the universe without a distraction. Yeah, and I bet it saves money on clothes, too. Uh, can we just find Odom? He is praying in here. Odom Mech, you have a visitor. Kyle Katarn! <laughs> hey, Odom. Glad to see your brains are still on the inside. Oh, and you've utterly lost yours. Uh, you're the most wanted man in the Empire right now. Do you know what'll happen to you if you're caught? Uh, couldn't be any worse than being enlightened. Now, don't mock my religion, Kyle. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. Look, Odom... I need your help. There's a plot that has to do with the Empire, and it must be stopped. Can you not, please... Not here. Not here. I'm in the middle of my prayers. Meet me in a cantina called the Blue Moon in 15 minutes. What's that? Repeat. Your message was garbled by all the street noise. I had. What is Kyle's current position? I don't know. He went into some old building. I tried to follow, but they wouldn't let me in. Has he made any suspicious moves? Any attempts to betray us? Negative. He made a surveillance sweep of the research center, then headed for the temple or whatever it is. I cannot emphasize the danger enough. If he gives you the slightest suspicion that he's turning on us, he must be eliminated. Is that understood? Understood, but I'm not sure that he's... Wait. Wait, he's coming out. I've got to follow. Jan out. Where'd you go, Kyle? You're not good enough at this to give me the slip. So, you must have gone into one of these doors. And knowing how Imperials like to spend their off hours, I'd say my best bet is the... Welcome to the Blue Moon. Are you looking for a job? Sweet stuff. No, thanks. I'm looking for a guy just under two meters looks like a farm boy. Sweet stuff. What do you want with him when you got me? Uh, what you've got I don't need, laser brain. Easy. Don't go hype around me. Guy you're after is right over there. Where? Over there. In that booth, talking to that guy in the uniform. Uniform? Yeah. Uh, you mean... Yeah, talking to that Imperial. It's the same Imperial from the video. Oda Mech. Uh, why? Why, Kyle? I can't believe you betrayed us. Uh, you are so, so dead. You come here often, Odom? Doesn't seem like your kind of place. Nah, no, just now and then. The food tastes like Gamorrean garbage, but this band's pretty good. <laughs> what are they? The Max Rebo Band. Never heard of them. You will. They're too good to play backwater dives like this for long. Look, Mech, thanks for coming to meet me. I'm sorry to put you at risk. Oh, you think I'd miss my chance to talk to the most infamous member of my class? You should see the Holonet broadcast on you, Kyle. They've got you up on desertion, treason, and murder. I didn't kill anyone. Well, at least not intentionally. And the rest? Guilty as charged. Which brings us to the present. Yes. Uh, I know I'm going to regret asking this, but how exactly do I fit in? I'm glad you asked. Blast you, Kyle Katarn. Why would you betray us? You know what the Empire did to your father. Oh, blast it! Oh, get a hold of your temper, Jan. You've got a job to do, so do it. Katarn's bound to come through this alley on his way back to his ship. And this little alcove will make my job that much easier. With my blaster set on full, it should take one shot. Nice and clean, and it's over. And here comes the double agent now. Goodbye, Kyle. I have a beat on his head. Fire, Jan. Fire. Blast. 
Kyle. What the... Easy, Kyle. Jan, that you? Just relax. Easy for you to say. Why are you pointing a blaster at Just me? Just put the blaster down. You first. Okay, Kyle. See? I'm holstering my weapon. Besides, if I decided to kill you, you'd be dead. What? You're a traitor. You deserve to die, Kyle, but someone else will have to do it. You have it all wrong, Jan. What about Odom? You told Mon Mothma you didn't know him. But I just saw you meet with him. I wanted to protect him, to leave him out of it. And now? I pulled him in. Th there's no other way. Why? Why would he help our cause? I, I don't know for sure. Friendship, his religious beliefs, it's hard to say. Do you think he'll come through? He already has. Squad leader, signal change of the watch. Uh, copy that, Major Horse. Switching to Night Watch. All sectors switching to Night Watch. Release Night Watch probe droids. Releasing Night Watch probe droids now, sir. Affirmative. I have the watch. Record in the log that I have the code key to the secure room in my possession. Yes, sir. The Death Star plans are safely in the secure room, and you have the key. The log is so noted. All right. Let's make sure this research facility is shut up tight. Initiate standard security scan, all access ways and hatches. Copy that. Scanning. All access ways and hatches showing shut at... Hold on. Sir, I'm showing a security breach in sector S2. The alarm system has been shut down. Acknowledge. Open a channel to the quick response team. Get a squad of Imperial wait, walkers up wait. there right... That's just me. Lieutenant Mech. Yes, sir. What in the Emperor's name are you still doing on your watch? Ended five minutes ago. Sorry about that, Major. I was just finishing up some remote tests on the door locks and fell behind the watch schedule. Well, mind your chrono next time, mister. Yes, sir. Your false alarm nearly rousted a squad of commandos, and those animals would turn the guilty party into bantha steaks. Yes, sir. It, it won't happen again, sir. I should have figured, though. Only a madman would try to sneak into this facility. I couldn't agree with you more, sir. I'm in, thanks to Odom. The door was unlocked just like he promised. Now, the rest is up to me. Kyle should be inside the research facility by now. Time for me to get on board and fire up the moldy crow and... That's the ship. That's the ship, officers. Uh-oh. You there! Halt! <sighs> Looks like the customs agent Kyle dealt with has decided to play both sides of the field. That's the ship that came in this morning. I recognize the pilot's face from the most wanted files. Whatever happened to someone who takes a bribe keeping their word? <sighs> That's the trouble with the Empire. No moral values. You! Identify yourself! Yes, sir. I've got my ID right here! <laughs> Blaster! Not unless you learn to shoot straighter! Oh, time to get out of here. The crow isn't the toughest ship in the fleet, but there's no way those hand weapons are gonna penetrate these shields. Kyle, this is Jan. Hope you can read me. Copy that, Jan. But there's plenty of interference. It must be caused by the machinery around here. You should see the inside of this place. Let's make sure you see the outside of it soon. I'm coming your way, but I'm afraid I'm bringing company. Copy that, Jan. I get the message. I'm headed towards the target as fast as I can. Good luck, Jan out. Uh, no time to relax, Katarn. If Odom's instructions were correct, it takes a special key to get into the room with the Death Star plans. To get that key, I need to find the operations room. Uh, this way. Oh! Freeze! Uh, right into the arms of a stormtrooper. You're not authorized to be here. You're right! Oh, dead. Which means you won't need that power pack. So I'll just take it and be on my way. That's another life I've taken today. I thought I'd get over the killing after the first time on that asteroid, but it's a strange feeling. Ah, there's what I'm looking for. This corridor leads to the operations room. Ah, looks like they've been warned. Ah! Come on. Come on, you flying scrap pile. You don't have all day to warm up your repulsors. Sooner or later, some Imperial with half a brain is gonna show up with a laser cannon. Ah! Oh, blast. Computer! Oh, oh, switch the turret gun to auto! Acknowledge. Activating turret mounted Stuker BG-300 laser firing system. Oh, spare with... me the details and open fire! Firing. Firing sequence terminated. Fire to hit ratio, one to one. All targets eliminated. Show off. Oh, finally. Moldy Crow lifting off. Okay, Kyle, hang on tight. I'll be at the rendezvous point in... Oh. This is X-1 
X-ray 291 to Moldy Crow. Reverse course and power down or I'll blow you out of the sky. Oh, great, a TIE fighter. I always wanted to go up against one of those things. She's not in this refugee from the recycling bin. Rare deflector shield failing. You should have surrendered when you had the chance, rebel scum. My TIE fighter can fly circles around that junkie. Oh, maybe. But didn't it ever bother you that the Empire was too cheap to put first-rate shields on those TIE fighters? All it takes is a little luck and one good shot. Gotcha. Okay, Kyle, I'm on my way. Hope you're getting as lucky as I am. I think we got them. That was too close. Oh, another few inches and that blaster bolt would have cut out my heart instead of burning the skin off my shoulder. Oh, still feels like my skin's going nova. You there, come out from behind that doorway. This is your last chance to get out of this alive. Oh, tempting offer, but somehow once I'm in their detention center, I'll end up wishing I was dead. Still, I don't see many options. Get go! Oh, I've got to be at least five troopers down that hallway and no other exits. If I don't make a move soon, more reinforcements will arrive. But charging those guns would be suicide. Unless... Unless I could use the same trick that helps me out when I'm tackling other problems, like working on ships. Just, just let myself go. Let that same strange feeling flow through me. Yeah, yeah. I can almost feel where those troopers are positioned. Gotta hold that image, set my blaster on auto, and... He's making the Fire! 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 I'll just it. I got it, my they're... they're dead. And I'm... there's not a scratch on me. Moldy Crota Katarn? They couldn't hit me. Moldy Crota Katarn, you still there, Kyle? Uh, Katarn here. Yeah, I, uh... I'm doing a lot better than the stormtroopers. I'm in route. Are you doing okay? Sounds like a stun bolt rattled you. No, I'm... Uh, I'm not sure I can explain this. I just broke through a line of troopers, and they couldn't hit me. I know this sounds weird, but every time they fired, I, I knew where the shot was going, and I could sense it. I only had that kind of feeling once before, back at the academy, during the graduation ceremony. I, I felt, well, everything. Oh, bet you think I've jumped into the insane system. I don't know, Kyle. Either you're cracking under the strain, or the Force is with you. The Force. Maybe you're right, Jan. Oh, what's your ETA? I'd say three minutes to dust off. Better be there. We won't have time for lunch. Affirmative. Katarn out. Now, the plans. This room has got to be the operations room. Negative, negative. Now, if I can just slip in quietly. Negative. All other areas have been checked and sealed. No signs of entry. We have an alert only in the south corridor. Repeat, this is Major Horst in operations. All sectors show clear except the south corridor. My men have one intruder trapped there. This is that one. You need backup in there? Negative. My men have the situation under control. Send your Imperial Walker to patrol the south ridge. I've got reports of an incoming vessel. Could be trouble. I copy. There should be some good hunting. Hang in there till we get back. That one out. Don't worry. I've got everything under control. Horst out. I'll take that key. What the? What happened to my men? You'll find out soon enough if you don't take your hand off that blaster. When you rebel scum, I, I want it! I gave you a chance, you should have taken it. Got it. Moldy Crow, this is Katarn. Repeat, Moldy Crow, this is Katarn. I'll copy, Kyle, but I can barely read you. I've got the code key and I'm heading for the secure room. This whole thing should be over in a few minutes. I'll either have the Death Star plans or I'll be dead. Oh, great. Well, if you get killed, be sure to let me know so I don't bother coming to get you. You're as funny as a hut with a heat rash. Just watch yourself, Jan. I think you've got armored reinforcements headed your way. What was that, Kyle? Your signal's breaking up. Repeat, armored reinforcements are headed into your area. I get it. Evasive maneuvers. Ooh. Oh, that's too close. That Imperial Walker means business. Don't mess with him, Jan. The armor on those Imperial Walkers is too heavy for your blast. Uh, not if I aim just right. Oh. Jan, break off! Uh, negative, Kyle. I am taking this beast out or they can sweep my particles off the planet's surface. Fire! Uh. Jan! Do you copy? Oh, blast it! If she's gone... Oh, well, there's nothing to do but keep going. 
Odom said the Death Star plans are in a secure room at the end of the corridor. Now, if Odom comes through one last time... Come on, Odom, open that door! Come, come on, Odom, don't leave me hanging out to dry! Thank you, Odom. Thank you. Don't thank me. Just get in here before more troops come and then get out of here as fast as you can. Thanks, Odom. I never could have gotten in here without you. I can't believe you made it this far. You just took out a squad full of Imperial commandos. I didn't think that was possible. How? I'll tell you about it someday. Where are the plans? Inside that vault. It's open. Got it. Strange. What is it? I don't know. For a minute there, I, I could almost feel danger in the air. Like this thing was emanating evil. And I always thought I was the religious nut. What you are, Odom, is a hero. Bantha fodder. What I am is an accomplice to murder. The blood of these men is on my hands as well as yours. Yeah, but your hands will be washed clean by the billions of lives you helped save today. As the monks say, time will tell. Just remember, I never want to hear from you again. Understand? Right. I gotta go. Uh, not yet. Remember that last part of our agreement. I don't want to end up on the interrogator's rack. Right. <clears throat> that bruise should swallow big enough to convince the Emperor himself. Good luck, Odom. My friend. Katarn to Moldy Crow. You there, Jan? Don't tell me you're there. I, I've made it to the rooftop. Come in. Oh, no. Jan! Jan, come in! I'm here! There he is! Oh, and I've got company. Yes, this is it. But I'm gonna take out as many of them as I can! Hey there, partner. Need a lift? Jan! I thought you were dead! And let you show me up? No way. Lowering ramp. Scanners show a clear path into the atmosphere, Kyle. But you better hurry. We've got Star Destroyers en route. Jim, I'm glad to see you. Oh, Kyle, I'm so glad to see you, too. <laughs> I mean, I'm... Oh, I'm glad the mission was a success. When I saw how many troops there were... Yeah, I know. I don't know how I made it. Or maybe I do. Something helped me. I think it was the Force. Kyle, did you get what we came for? Right here. Stealing those plans could be the most important blow the Rebellion has ever struck. So I guess now I've convinced you I'm not a double agent? It's a start, Kyle. It's a start. Star Wars, Dark Forces, Soldier for the Empire, adapted by John Whitman, was based on a story written by William C. Dietz as the first of a three-book story arc that bridges the events in the LucasArts Entertainment Company's popular computer games, Star Wars, Dark Forces, and Jedi Knight. This has been a production of High Bridge Audio, in association with Tom Vagley Productions.